This video presentation has been classified by the ABC as M. It contains material that is not recommended for persons under 15 years. NIB Insurance recently offered cut price DNA tests to its customers, bringing genetic testing into the headlines. Hungry Beast decided to explore the ramifications ourselves, so guinea pig Kirk Docker sent a sample of his DNA off to get tested. The results are in, and as Kirk found, having a DNA test can raise a minefield of issues. In the late 90s, an eerily prescient film called Gattaca predicted a world where the quality of your DNA determined your future. The film used sterile imagery and clinical performances to depict a dehumanised society, where superior DNA guaranteed success, but a bad DNA test was a ticket to social discrimination and menial jobs. Ten years later, Gattaca is so close you can smell it. Once only available for elite research, cheap DNA testing is now on sale to anyone. Genetic markers found in your saliva can predict the odds of you facing more than 100 traits and conditions. From arthritis, to Parkinson's, to diabetes. It can also tell you if your kids are likely to have red hair. Even though these tests are cheap, with no actual guarantees as to what you'll find, or whether the results will be good or bad, would you do it? Well, here it is. Not much to it. I sent my saliva over to US DNA testing company 23andMe to find out. That's it. Everything's done. Address is on there. Everything's signed. Now I've just got to post this off in four weeks an email arrive with my full test results. Getting a reading of my DNA brought up a set of conflicting feelings. Now, what if I found out something fucked up? The logical part of me says that's good. I can do something about it now. But the other part of me says, I don't really want to know about it. I'm in my 20s. I don't really want to come face to face my own mortality. So while I waited for the results to come, I decided to go and get some extra advice. Kirk? I'm a genetic counsellor. We haven't seen a lot of people sort of turning up saying, I've organised my own genetic test. How much should I get worried about it or not get worried about it, would you say? We're not really sure how accurate it is, but there's the potential that it could upset you, like you're at a 70% risk of developing Alzheimer's in your lifetime or, you know, maybe an 80% chance of heart disease. You know, it makes me feel a bit sick in the stomach, but you're not sure why you should be worried because yeah. the, it's only percentages. Do you think you would share this information with a partner or change whether you wanted to have children or...? Shit, I hadn't thought about partners and wives. I just thought about my own personal shit. And it'd be really sad if you significantly changed your life or were significantly concerned about something that turned out to, to not be true. I, I don't know until I see it, you know. But predicting genetic disorders has already caused fears of Gattaca-style discrimination in the US. In 2008, George Bush signed the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, prohibiting health insurers and employers from discriminating on the basis of genetic information. But while US health insurers can't deny coverage, they can decide how much to pay out after considering what your genetic test says. This freaked me out. So I contacted health insurers and found that currently DNA results have no impact on coverage. But there's no legislation here to stop changes in the future. Life insurers already demand to know if you've been tested, which can not only affect your premiums, but also whether you'll be covered at all. So I had to decide life insurance wasn't essential for me. The only thing left to do now was open my results. Just before you go through and actually get to see your results, it says risks. You may learn information about yourself that you may not anticipate. The information may evoke strong emotions and has the potential to alter your life and worldview. Rock and roll. Fuck, man. So you've gotten your results. Yes. Tell me what you think about all of this. How did you feel when you sort of read your results. Things didn't look too bad. Yeah, no, I think I they're... was quite happy with it. The test came back with 128 predictions, some with real scientific weight, some more speculative. Let's start at the top. I'm relieved to find I have standard odds of developing Parkinson's disease and almost zero chance of Tourette's syndrome. I have an above average short term memory, but I have a higher than normal one in eight likelihood of having a brain aneurysm at some point. I'm not genetically predisposed to become an alcoholic, and I apparently have a typical sensitivity to the smell of BO. When it comes to my chest, I have a one in four chance of heart attack and an increased one in three likelihood of an irregular heartbeat. I'm one of the lucky few resistant to stomach flu and my odds of getting prostate cancer are 30% below normal. The test says I have a muscle performance of an endurance athlete 
and I'm not a carrier of most of the genes which pass on conditions to my children, including cystic fibrosis. Death doesn't appear to be stalking me. I have typical odds of living to 100. The company says it provides education, not diagnosis. These results are merely predictions. And with the many medical possibilities it considers, our lifestyle has at least as big a part to play as what's written in our genes anyway. We're only at the beginning of discovering how genetic testing will impact our lives.